President Barack Obama came out here and said he is fired up and ready to go to support Hillary Clinton as the next president for the United States. And they expect to be out here until at least 8 o'clock tonight as they try to clean up a lot of this damage. Just take a look. They are trying to clean up that massive tree stump that uprooted last night from the storm. That's right. There won't be any discussion about the economic impact that House Bill 2 has had on the Queen City. We are at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the home to the iconic Amour sign and also the Rocky Stairs that everyone wants to run up and make sure they can say they uh, met that challenge. But it's also home to those um, Democratic donkeys you were talking about. We have one right here. This is a brotherhood and firefighters from across our area have been here all day showing their support. Now the Hornets had a rocky start to their series, but fans are hoping that now that they have home court advantage that they will be able to turn that around. Again, investigators are looking for the driver who left the scene. Police say he was driving a white work van, possibly with South Carolina of license plates. As I know when we talked to the chief on Sunday about security, he said there would be thousands of officers from hundreds of agencies across this country. Well, North Carolina is a battleground state, and Hillary Clinton was just here last week talking with voters in Raleigh. I think it's because we have been doing a lot of walking. That is honestly the best way to get around. Driving is another story. That has been a challenge. Caroline, the vigil just wrapped up a few moments ago, but people are still here reminiscing and talking about their classmate, their friend, Shane Tomlinson. He was a 33-year-old who was known for his passion for music, his spirit, and his energy that touched so many lives. Um, Sunday, Sunday, June 12th, mine, as far, I'm sure as everybody else is here, life changed forever. Shane Tomlinson was known for his smile, laughter, and contagious you know, personality. I can't say it over again. He, he was the light in the room. Didn't matter. He walk in, and you didn't need a light switch. He was the light switch, and, and he made a difference in a lot of people's lives. A light that was shut off too soon. Tomlinson was one of the 49 victims of the horrific Orlando shooting at Pulse nightclub. Um, we saw his name appear on the list. We knew his parents were down, and they were waiting for Monday morning at 10 a.m. And as soon as that came across, it immediately fed like wildfire to all of our classmates. On Saturday afternoon, dozens of friends and community members gathered at Northwest Cabarrus High School to remember their beloved classmate. Shane deserves this and so much more. Um, we had to honor him as classmates, as a community. We need to spread that love. We need to bring love back into the world. Um, and this is one way that we can do it within our community. A grieving community that's still healing, but they're not doing it alone. I think it's an awakening of, look, you know, that's what matters. That's what, at the end of the day, we have each other. And classmates tell me it's uh, still too soon. They're still in shock about what happened, and it's just still too soon to know how they'll honor Thompson's, Tomlinson's memory moving forward. But today they painted a spirit rock in his honor with bright colors and musical notes to represent his vibrant personality and his love for music. We're live in Concord, Kirsten Garris, Time Warner Feeble News. Congresswoman Alma Adams hopes to reclaim her seat here in the 12th Congressional District. When she was elected back in 2014, the 12th District stretched across Cross Interstate 85 from Charlotte to Greensboro. But now with the newly redrawn lines, it's most of Mecklenburg County. So this election, she's been campaigning and rallying for support with these new voters in her new district. Now, earlier today, Congresswoman Adams was visiting a couple of polling stops, talking with voters about her policy and goals for the 12th district. As a longtime educator, Alma Adams is pushing for better public education and increase in teacher wages. She's also pushing for higher minimum wage at the federal Federal level. Now, Congresswoman Adams has decades of experience, nine years with the Greensboro City Council and served 10 years in the North Carolina State House. But most of her connections and experience are in Greensboro. So we've talked to political experts who say this could be a close race because she's competing against several familiar faces here in Mecklenburg County, like Malcolm Graham and Trisha Cotham. This was the scene on Interstate 77 Monday afternoon. Firefighters working to free a driver pinned in by the dashboard. When we have a, a scene like that, you know, we want to get medic in the car so that they can start IV access, airway management, anything that's going to allow the patient, you know, to survive. It took firefighters nearly 45 minutes to free the driver. When someone's been in a, a traumatic incident like that, they have a thing called the golden hour. So we want to get them out of the car, to the hospital, to the trauma center within that hour. 
For serious accidents like this, one of the two rescue crews in Charlotte will respond. This truck has no pump, no hose, no water. It's basically a big giant toolbox on wheels. A giant toolbox carrying just about everything from two by four blocks. We can we can use this to put underneath of the car, keep it from rocking back and forth. To cutters. We can do that all the way down to the end of the car or truck and take the roof all the way off. What that does is it gives us better access to the patient uh, so that we can remove them as safe as possible. Some tools are even digital. Then we can tell them where the airbag actuators are, where the seatbelt locators are, um, airbags in the, in the car, what kind of materials is in the side of the vehicles. But they say ultimately their most valuable tool is keeping the patient calm. To try and keep someone calm in probably the worst moment of their life is, is not, the, not easy at all. You know, you got to try to separate yourself from what's happened to make it better. In Charlotte, Kirsten Garris, Time Warner Cable News.